It's 6 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday. 6 a.m. We got wrestling to watch. Wrestling is being hosted in Australia for the first time in a really long time, so it's starting super, super early. So before we can do Pokemon, we've got to do wrestling. So let's go do that first. Our goal for today's video, pretty simple. We've got two days, big, big event. Bunch of shiny Pokemon are going to be around. We're going to try to complete a line on this bingo card. I think that'll be fun. We're not going to try to complete the full card. Um, we're just going to try to get a line, and I think that's going to be fun. Um, who knows where we're going to go? I, I, I don't even know what day it is today. We made it to John's house. The event has officially started, but we've got a big decision to make here. Are we going to go Turtwig, Chimchar, or Piplup? I want to go Turtwig, I really do, but my heart lies with Piplup, so we've got to go with that one. Let's confirm. I don't know what this means or does. Giovanni's missing, the professor's missing. That's the plot going into this. But we're not here about plots. We're about, we want to do quests. We got stuff to do. Um, we're still working on the expedition, but that's fine. We've got Ghost in the Machine finished, so we can claim this now. We're gonna get ourselves our Rotom. What better way to start off a Sinnoh event than with one of the best Sinnoh Pokemon? Uh, oh, there he is, okay. He's <laughs> hiding. Okay, she's happy I picked Piplup or whatever. Good. We bought the hatch quests for today as well, so we're gonna be hatching a bunch of eggs. Um, I didn't get a chance to clear out my eggs over the week because it's been cold, it's been miserable. Beautiful day today, by the way. Absolutely beautiful. It's gonna be really, really good for walking. But we're gonna get these eggs cleared out and then we can focus on doing the research ones today. What do we have to do here? We've gotta catch 15 Pokemon from Sinnoh, um, plus a bunch of other stuff. We're gonna to try to get some partying up done today. We're meeting up with some other friends as well. Oh. One thing that I forgot, you gotta pop an incense. The unknown only spawn on incense today. So we need to make sure we've always got one going. We've got a claim or reward here. So we'll claim that one already. We've got a Pokemon appearing. It's an angry shadow Piplup, okay. There's a lot of snow clearing going on here at the moment. I apologize. Uh, all right, we've got Pokemon to catch. We're gonna do that. I'll see you guys when we get to the park. On our way to the park. Don't even worry about it. First one of the day. Shiny ass elf. John? Got a shiny ass elf. Right here. Uh, pretty huge. Uh, it came from the research. Um, take a picture of the three spirits of the lake, I think, today, and you get a task completed that then rewards you with a chance to catch that Pokemon again. Uh, so I did that, found a wild ass elf, took its picture, ran away, didn't get to catch it. But the research gave me the shiny which is pretty huge. That's a, that's a pretty good start for today, I think. Just finished saying hi to Jors. Made our way over this way. Found ourselves a shiny Hisuian Growlithe. Pretty solid, not gonna complain about that. He's been popping up all over the place during the grass hour event. I don't know why. He's not a grass type. What's he doing here? Uh, so we're gonna catch him. We're gonna stuff him in a ball. And then hopefully we're gonna go over that way a bit more. Meet up with Jors again. And uh, we're gonna try to get ourselves an origin form Palkia because we want to try out those new special effects that they've got. If we can catch the dog, that's the most important part. Gotta catch the dog. We got it. Lunch break happened and we were hanging out, charging our phones, getting some uh, food in us. I snapped into a Slim Jim and uh, well, we've only gone and found ourselves a shiny Pikachu with a hat on. And we all know that that's the best kind of Pokemon. We love a Pokemon with a hat on. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Oh. Still not the event eggs though. I just hatched two. We got two Carnivine, but nothing special. Uh, we took a picture of uh, Yuxi. We took a picture of Miss Spirit. Haven't checked those yet, they could be shiny. Uh, our uh, other spirit was shiny as well, so we'll see. Um, let's do these first, shall we? Let's see if we get another shiny off of the research. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so that first one was not guaranteed. So we'll catch this guy, nice. I probably shouldn't be trying to catch this guy in a Pokeball, but here we are. All right, that took forever, but we caught my spirit. 
Look, first time. Take a picture, say cheese. Very good, all right, any good? Eh, could be better. Um, let's grab the other one now while we're here. Uh, Yukti, let's see, is it shiny, is it not? Doesn't look like it. Another one down, say cheese. Now we've got these egg ones to hatch, as, uh, to check as well. I don't know what's in these. Uh, I, I have no idea. Okay, we get the uh, we get the egg exclusive Pokemon from today, which is cool. These are uh, these are exclusive. Usually only found in other places across the world, none of which spawn here. So excellent to see. We've got ourselves our first ever Chatot here today as well. I love Chatot, one of the best Pokemon ever. Listen to that sound. He's so good. He's a music note. Pachirisu, also not from here, but welcome to see. I don't think that's our first Pachirisu, though. I think we've we've seen these before in other events. Yeah, and uh, I've got Carnivine as well, which is probably who this is. Yeah, so that's cool. Very good to see. Thanks for the chat -out. And my guess is, is that these other three are just the same checks again, but twice. Yeah, okay. Different camera shot, but don't worry, we've still got more questions to check. We caught a Palkia, we caught a Dialga, we caught a Giratina, we've done some raids today. Uh, Cliff wants me to get Palkia. Okay, he wants us to use the effect, okay. Spatial Ren manipulates space for the next 20 minutes, allowing you to find an encounter Pokemon from farther away. So it's basically gonna expand the radius around us in which Pokemon will spawn, giving us 20 minutes of more Pokemon that we can catch, which is huge on a day like today. Has 5,000 Stardust and five Palkia candy, which is why we're trying to do as many raids as we can today, because we want as much candy from Palkia and Dialga as we can get, which is also why we've got our friend Mega uh, Rayquaza uh, running as well, who gives you bonus candy for Dragon types. So we're gonna get bonus candy from both Palkia and Dialga. Shout out to Joras yet again for giving me that tip. I had Mega Blastoise evolved earlier because I wanted extra water candy. What an idiot. So let's try it out. Spatial Ren, use. Uh, let's go big, let's go big. Let's go for 40 minutes. Why not? Let's see what happens here. Yes. Oh my God, he's using his superpowers. Distance increased. How many more Pokemon are we gonna get around us? Let's see. Less, one actually just ran away. Okay, no, look at that, they're everywhere. Oh my goodness. Imagine if one was shiny. Let's have a look. Quick shiny check. No. No. Okay, no shinies here. But speaking of shiny, we managed to get a shiny Lucas hat Pikachu. I don't actually know what hat that is. We got a shiny Pikachu. We got a shiny Quillfish off of the uh, Pokemon Go Plus Plus auto caught it for me. Huge. Growlithe from earlier, and of course the Azelf from earlier. So we're sitting at a good four shiny Pokemon, which is huge for just one day. And we've still got four hours of the event left to go, so let's get back in. Let's complete these quests further. Let's uh, let's get a move on. We gotta get some eggs going now, too. It sound right, boy. Okay, we're back home. The event is over. What a day. Oh my god, my legs are killing me. I, I walked for like six hours straight today, and I'm running on very little sleep. It is almost 7 p.m. I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> I'm not kidding, that's how exhausted I am. We've finished our quest for today. Uh, not part four out of three, but part three out of three. So let's see what we get for these. Oh, okay, angry bug. What else do we get? Who is it? A Ms. Magius, okay, interesting. They're just giving you shadow Pokemon, which is kind of fun. And then finally, to end this quest, what is our final reward here? We get some Palkia candy and some Palkia XL candy because we chose the Pearl Path. And we also get ourselves, oh, a Spirit Tomb, which can actually be shiny. Uh, someone uh, at uh, the park today actually got a shiny Spirit Tomb from this uh, research, which is, that's just, in, that's just incredible. All right, regular Spirit Tomb for us, but that's okay. Three star, hey, we like those. We like those. Everything's all good, the professor's back. Purify the shadow Pokemon team Go Rocket gave you and defeat Giovanni before, oh, we've got to beat Giovanni. Okay, all right, well, I'm not gonna do that tonight. Um, we are going to do that tomorrow. I don't have the time uh, or the energy to do it. Um, we've got to do some more party challenges. I finally managed to play with other people and look, we've made a little bit of progress. Very little amount of progress, but we've made some progress in the Welcome Party quest now, which is great. Shiny Bingo. Let's not forget about Shiny Bingo. 
Um, we did get a few today. I didn't think we were going to get as many as we did. But if we go shiny age zero, look at this. 13 in total. Five of which are on the bingo card. I've got an Eevee, who I'm going to evolve into a Glaceon, I think. Um, so knock that off the list. We got three, read them and weep everybody, three shiny Pikachus with hats on, all of which have different hats on, which is huge. Um, so get that one off the list. Lickitung, which can evolve into Licky Licky. He's on the bingo card, get him off of there. We've also got Magnemite, who is on the bingo card. Let's get him off of there. And uh, our very first shiny of the day, of course, was Azelf. So, uh, you know, also on the bingo card. Five done, no lines, but that's okay. We've still got research and a whole other day of Pokemon Go to go through. So we've still got plenty of time to do some stuff. I guess we'll we'll get some sleep and let's go, let's go hit up day two. Day two is here. We're back at our favorite uh, baseball field. Just hanging out with, I'm sure, horrible audio quality. So we just purified three shadow Pokemon. We beat Giovanni. He's done and dusted. We're moving on through the story progress. Is that Reggie Giga shiny? No, we don't get a shadow shiny, but that's okay. That's okay. Someone yesterday did, and that's that's insane. I've traveled across time and space to pursue strength, but you still prove that you're stronger. Yes, I am, Giovanni. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, that's just the end of the quest. All right, we're done. That's the end of the story. I probably should have just finished that off yesterday, but that's fine. It's fine. We're making our way through the rest of the day. We uh, we hatched nine eggs. Uh, it, it, they all started popping before I had the chance to film any of it. Uh, but as you can see, we got some Carnivine, we got some Chatot, we got some Pachiritsu, no shinies. Um, but I did notice that Carnivine is a Venus flytrap and the, the, the flower that's a symbol of Newfoundland is the pitcher plant and it is also a Venus flytrap. So Carnivine, Welcome home, buddy. Welcome home. Could also say the same about Victory Bell, I, I believe. Victory Bell looks more like the pitcher plant, but anyway, that's aside the, the point. We're hanging out on a route. We're at our favorite baseball field. Um, I've hurt my leg. I don't think I'll be able to walk around very much today. Um, so we're gonna take it easy. We're gonna do a few, few trails here and there. Um, most of which have been covered in two to three feet of snow. So they're very difficult to walk on right now. Um, and with a hurt leg, Walking on a difficult trail is not uh, not the best. Um, we might dust off the scooter. I don't really, there's not a lot of room on the streets right now for a scooter and I don't really feel comfortable doing that, but we'll see. I'm not getting any 10K eggs and it's bothering me. I wanna do another nine at, at, the, at a time, but uh, the the Pokestops are just not giving them to me today. So we're just gonna, we're gonna have to hope for the best. We'll hold on to any 10K we have and then hopefully, <coughs> And then hopefully we'll be able to do nine at a time. But right now I've got some incense popped. We're on a route, so we're getting some basculin. We're gonna check the unknowns. We're gonna just keep going. Let's, we'll just keep going and hope for the best. Just walked through far too much snow. My leg is actually killing me now. But don't worry everybody. We got ourselves a shiny Mr. Mime, or sorry, Mime Jr., a regional, uh, who apparently Zimby does not enjoy. I, I, I love Mr. Mime. I love the whole line and he gets too much hate. I relate to Mr. Mime, so stop hating on him. Just got home, about to start editing and who should appear but a, but a friendly little yellow Growlithe. Um, just as the hour ticked over as well. So the, the habitat has now changed. We're into a new hour of spawns. Um, the Dialga and Palkia, the origin forms are gonna start showing up in raids. I can't go out today. So hopefully I get some invites to some raids, fingers crossed because we still need a Dialga with that special move. Gonna check out for some shinies as well. Keep our eyes out. We've still got our incense running. Bunch of spawns around and we'll probably use, whoa. We'll probably use the spatial rend as well to increase our range as well, because why not, right? Shout out to Jors for sending me an invite to a raid. We're here, we're in. They're out at the park today, again, today, I should say. Um, but thankfully they sent me an invite. So hopefully we can get this dang move on this dang Pokemon so we can start using the dang special effects. I want to pause time? Who doesn't want to pause time? Final strike, let's go. Hell yeah. All right, let's see. The big reveal. Is he a different color or is he not a different color? Looks pretty similar to me. Okay, let's catch him now and let's see if he's got the move. Oh, excellent throw first try. Did you see that? Come on, first ball. Oh, another excellent. Let's go, two in a row. 
I'm a legend. Ah, oh, the catch rate on these uh, legendaries is just insane. Stay in the ball. I paid money for you. Stay in the ball. Come on, please, please, please. Excellent curve throw with a silver pineapple. Should be enough. Not even two shakes. We've got seven balls left out of 19. Six balls left. Stay in the ball. Thank you. Now, does it have the move we need? Yes. Yes. View attack, roar of time, distorts time for six minutes, pauses the timers of incense, lucky eggs, star pieces, and daily adventure incense, in extending their duration. Huge, huge. We've entered the last hour of the event. My leg is still killing me, so I can't do much, but I'm gonna walk around, we're gonna grab a few more eggs. I've got that one 10K egg, but I want more. And if we can grab some eggs before the event ends and get them into incubators, then we can still take our time, even though the event ends, we can still get some surprise last minute shinies maybe. So let's go for a quick little walk, see how many 10k eggs we can find. Hopefully we can get enough by the end of the event to maybe get us some lucky last minute shinies. We'll see. I guess what it comes down to at the end of the day is that uh, you get outside, you get some fresh air, you see some people, you interact with some people, other human beings, interaction, socialization, it's good for us. The fresh air is the better part, but socializing is important too. So even if you didn't get any shinies or you got 25, as long as you had a good day, that's all that matters to me anyway. So I hope you watch these videos and you say to yourself, man, I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna play some Pokemon Go because I want to play a game and have fun, but I also want socialization, friendship and camaraderie and just nature outside and exploring and, and finding new places, new locations. It's good. It's good to get outside. 2K egg is ready to hatch. Nose press. Is it shiny? Let's see. I don't think so. I don't know if any of these clips are going to be usable because of the audio, but look, we've got our fourth shiny Pikachu. I think we have this one with this hat already. So it's our first double of the whole event and we're in the last half hour. That's pretty good. I usually end up doubling up quite a bit, but there you go. Look, Freaking shiny Pikachu. We love to see him. Luck is apparently on our side because we got enough Pokestops in just before the event ended. We've got 10 minutes left and we've got ourselves eight. Unfortunately, it's not 10. I would have liked to have, well, nine. I would have liked to have nine eggs, but eight will have to do. Let's get these bad boys in incubators. Ah, gotta use my nose again. Let's see if we can, there we go. That one goes in there. And then that one goes in there. It's just all about suffering for the art, really. Just constantly, just suffering. All the way. Come on. Come on. Get in the, get in the incubator. Come on. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. For a 32 year old man catching Pokemon with his nose on the busiest street in his hometown. Might as well, right? Drop, drop him a like, comment, and subscribe because everybody that drives past is thinking, look at that moron. And they're not so gonna subscribe. So, you know, you should. Eight eggs in incubators, nine minutes before the event ends. When those pop, I will be sure to Fill you in on what comes out of them. Home from a day at work. Are we there? Oh, 4.9, 4.7, 4.9, 4.9. What if we just wiggle the phone a little bit? Will that work? Oh, never mind. We're in. We're in. We got eight eggs ready to hatch. I thought they'd be ready by now. Let's see. Final, final bit of the Sinnoh Go Global Tour, whatever it was called. Let's see. One last secret shiny. Is it possible? Nope. No. Nope. Damn it. No, come on. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> All right, okay. No more secret Chinese for the event. 
Sinnoh Global Tour has officially come to an end. I think it was a pretty decent event. I had a good time. I would have liked to get out a bit more, outside more, but my body is just not cooperating with me. Um, hopefully when Golf Fest comes around, it'll be much nicer outside. We'll have the scooter again, so we won't have to do as much walking. We can preserve our leg muscles. We don't have to rip them to shreds in order to just get some eggs hatched. How did you guys do? What's your final total on shinies? And did you have a good time this weekend as well? I really hope you did. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun stuff, help support me, help keep these videos going. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next event, whatever it may be. Bye bye <laughs>